Hello everyone. I am so glad you're here today for our art lesson. Our Bible verse comes from today. It comes from Genesis 1:11. It says, "Then God said, let the land produce vegeta uh, vegetation, seeds bearing plants and trees on the land that bear fruit with seeds in it, according to their variety kinds." And it was so. Then the land produced vegeta uh, vegetation, plants bearing seeds according to their kind, and trees bearing fruit with the seeds in accordance to their kind. And God saw this and said it was good. Our art lesson today is inspired by Clementine Hunter. She was a wonderful folk artist. She lived to be 101 years old. And she did not start painting until she was 50 years old. And she started painting with hardly anything to paint with. She just used uh, tubes of paint and brushes that she found in the trash. And she is just a wonderful artist. And I got to go see her yesterday and see her artwork. She died in 1986, but I was able to see some of her original work. And she did a beautiful job. Here is one of the things that we're, we're going to be painting azaleas, azaleas today. And this is one of her azaleas. And if you look at all her artwork, you'll find a lot of the zinnias in her art. She also planted all types of other flowers, too. Now, this is a book that I got called Art from the Heart. And it has a beautiful story about her in here. It tells all about her life, and I would love you to take a moment to read it. You can also go to YouTube, and you can find this book, Having Somebody Read It To You. You can also look at all the other videos that they have on her. She was an artist that I painted from memory. She never did look at something like a still life flowers or anything like that. She had a lot of beautiful memory pictures and that's what they call her, a memory picture. Now today, you ready to get started? Let's look at some of the things that you're going to need on your, um, on your table. You're going to need a flat brush a thick chubby brush and you're going to need a brush for outlining. You're also going to need your paints and I hope you have already mixed up your paints. You received something. Uh, you can go at the bottom of this um, information sheet. You can click on that and you can pull up the uh, what, to, what you need list. Don't forget to cover your tables because you will make some a little mess. Make sure you wear your spot, uh, smocks to keep your stuff clean. Now, I'm going to show you a couple of pictures. Oh, you're also going to need your water, and you're going to need a lot of paper towels. So make sure you have those on hand, too. And your black, you're going to use your black, but you're only going to use this black for outlining and signing your name at the end of your painting. So make sure you don't use that black anywhere else until I tell you in the video. Now, here are some of the flowers that have been made. You can see. Uh, Clementine, which a lot of times she would paint her background one solid color. It might be dark blue, dark purple, dark green. And if you go and look at her books and her artwork, you can see a lot of different ways that she painted. Now, a lot of her, most of her vases look like this, but I hope that you will come up with some base ideas of your own. But here's a couple of paintings here that we did. Here's one, and when you start creating your flowers, you're gonna do anything that you like. You can make your make your vase any shape and size that you want. Here's one with uh, polka dots. Here's just about a solid background here. You can see how the different the way, different ways it makes it look. Here's one that's got a, a cream background and a light blue with just a basic orange pot. Now here's a pot that we did, and it's striped. That turned out pretty good too. And here's a, a tall one that's striped. And these are mostly all the same colors. This one to me reminds me more of her azaleas than any of the ones that I painted. But you can do daisies or whatever else you like. There's another one. Now I've got some two special ones that two artist friends of mine did. This is by um, Joy. And this is by... Um, Zoe, and you can see what a great job they did, and your paintings are going to turn out just as well. All right, before we get started, I want to introduce you to some of my young artists who will be helping us demonstrate the painting today. Come on up. This is Zoe, this Hi. is Joy, and Hello. this is Cheyenne. 
time. And they're going to show, they're going to be our demonstrators today, and I think we're going to have a great time, don't you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's going to be great. So let's get started. Now we're ready to draw. Do you have your black crayon and your piece of paper? Now remember, we're going to just draw softly. We're not going to draw dark. We're going to draw softly as we can. Now you see your paper right here? Um, it's a big sheet, 11 by 15, and don't you look, this is the place that we're going to look at putting our flower pot. Here we're going to be putting our flowers. So I want you to watch real closely. First we're going to start with our flower pot. And you can make any type of flower pot you want. You can make some um, uh, pots that are like a potted plant pot that goes like this, or round pots, or oval pots, any type of pot you want, okay? So let's get started. First, what you're gonna do is, and I want you to make sure that you leave a space down here so it won't look like the, your uh, flower pot is falling off the sheet. And I want you to start, and I'm gonna make an oval type uh, pot. You wanna put a spot here and a point here, like that. You wanna do a smile, like a semi-smile, like this. Just like that, okay? Let's do that. Very good. Now let's do the top part of your pot. And I'm gonna put it about right here, so I'm gonna put a spot, a little dot here, and a little dot here. And I'm gonna do something like a smile, uh, like a sad face, just like this. Just like that. Very good. Okay, now we're gonna do the sides. And you just take another, like a sideways C, a backwards C, and connect the two dots here. Now let's connect, the, uh, you put a C on this side. It's a little bitty C, just like that. Now I'm gonna put a lip on my, um, a little stand for my flower. And what you can do is come around, like a backwards C, and a backwards C, a C and a backwards C, and just go right up under it, just like that. You don't have to, but if you like to do that, that'd be fun. You can also put a handle on it. You can put a handle on each side, or just leave it just like that. So I'm gonna put a handle on mine. I'm gonna put it on this side, and we'll make it like a, it's a bunch of C's in this painting, isn't it? And I'm gonna go here, and how you do it. So that's what you can do. If that's what you wanna do, you can go ahead and do that. Okay, now it's time to get ready to draw our flowers. First, we're gonna, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna do three. So I'm gonna put a, I'm gonna look at my, all this, so I wanna be flowers and leaves. So I'm gonna put a circle here. I think I want a flower up there. I want a flower up here. And I want a flower over here. This just gives you the center of your flower so you'll know where your flower's gonna go. So let me see you do that. And you will want to space your circles out too so that you'll get a nice big flower. <clears throat> now this flower right here, I'm gonna make it look like a zinnia, okay? Because that's what Miss Hunter did. She loved making a zinnias, and all of her work, she had all these zinnias. So we're gonna, make, I'm gonna make a zinnia here. So I'm gonna take my black crayon very lightly, and I'm just gonna go around like this. They're gonna go around again, just like this. And I'm gonna go around just like this. And it gets to be pretty big. So there's one flower. Now let's do our next flower. And I'm gonna do that one way up here. And I am gonna do, remember in the instructions it had them where you could put some little uh, markers like this so you can keep your uh, circles going. So I'm gonna go up and around, up, connect to the next marker, up, around, up, around, up, around, and around. Now, I'm gonna do more than just this right here. I'm gonna go here, and I'm gonna go over, and I'm just gonna cover them, just like that. And then I'm gonna take another one, and I'm gonna do zigzags all the way around, just like this. How about that? And I think that I think I like the way that looks. So let me see what you can do. 
Now make it up, this is your memory of what a flower looks like. So that's how Miss Hunter, when she did her picture, she always drew from memory. She never had a, a, a bowl of flowers to look at. She just did it from memory. I'm gonna do one more flower, but if you decided to do three or four more, that is fine, but I'm gonna go ahead and do my last flower. So I'm gonna start here, and I'm just gonna do it just like I did on this one right here. Now I'm gonna come here. Uh-oh, guess what? It runs into this flower. Skip over it and continue around, just like this. And then what it does is it looks like this flower is up, and that flower is behind. And that's what that look is. If you go over, it just looks like they're all standing uh, in the same row. So I'm gonna do one more, but on this time, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do this around. And I'm gonna put it over that, because your paint, when you paint, that's why we're doing the color light. So if you go over this part, that's fine. Okay, now it's time to put our leaves in. And I'm gonna look at different areas that I have here, and I think I'm gonna put some a leaf, a couple of leaves here, maybe some leaves here. And if my leaf goes off that page, it's okay. And then I'm gonna put some leaves here, so and maybe some leaves down here. So let's put let I'm gonna put some leaves in and let you see how I do that. And I'm gonna go over and over, and I'm gonna go leaf here, and I'm gonna put a leaf here. I'm gonna put a leaf down here. And I'm gonna put a leaf right up over that pot, just like that. Remember, our paint will cover that up. And I'm gonna put some leaves here. And this will all be green in here, but I'm just putting some leaves in. I'm gonna put some leaves over here. Oh, I think that's enough leaves for me, so y'all go ahead. Big and beautiful leaves, as many as you like. I love that you're creating your own flowers. It's gonna be beautiful. Okay, now we're gonna put in our stems to our flowers. And I'm gonna look at here, and I think I'm gonna put a stem down this way. And they will probably be covered up when you get through painting, but it's good just to put them in there just in case. And you really won't be able to see a stem in that. Go ahead and do the stems if you have any stems. Okay, that's our drawing now. Let's get ready to paint. I am so excited. This is gonna be so much fun. Let's make sure we have everything we need. You got your table covered. You got your, a nice shirt. You got paint on it, you'll be okay. You got your paper towels, because you're gonna want a lot of paper towels. You've got your three brushes, um, your flat brush to use for background. You've got your thick round brush to use for flowers, and you've got your skinny brush for outlines. I've got water to clean my brushes as I go, or if I need to clean my brushes, I got my water. I've got black paint that I'm gonna use for my outline. Only use black for your outline, okay? Now, what color, think about the color you're gonna paint your background. It could be a dark color with Miss Hunter painted. She always painted uh, dark backgrounds so her beautiful flowers were pop. So I am gonna use, we've got our table here. If you didn't draw your line earlier, just draw your line right here. This represents the table and this part is the background. And I am gonna do a blue table and a purple background. For my flowers, I'm gonna use yellow, I'm gonna use maroon, I'm gonna use red, I'm gonna use tangerine, and I'm gonna use um, pink and green. Now I might not use all these uh, colors, but those are some examples of the colors that we're gonna do. So. The first thing we're gonna do is paint our background. And the reason we paint our background is so that when we paint the flowers, you paint the flowers first, your, uh, your background might end up on your leaves and your flowers. But if you paint the background, the fresh paint you put over your leaves and the flowers will work a lot better. So, I am gonna paint my background. I'm gonna do, start with my table first, 
And when I do my table, I'm gonna put my paints on. You'll see how I do it. And then I'm gonna go back and forth, not on my pot, but back and forth to make it look like it's a table. Background will go up and down. I'll stir up my paint. If it's a little thick, you can add some water to it. And first, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a little outline. You can get up, that's why you need cover on your paper so you can get off the, the paper to get, you, to get your outline. I'm gonna outline around my, um, my handle, will come down. Now you wanna fill your paint up. You don't want it dripping off, but you wanna fill your paint up, your brush up with paint. And come down here, with outline. And I'm gonna do this. And you can put, put a lot on here. If you put a lot of paint, that really helps to makes it smooth and gives it some texture. Just like that. Now, I'm gonna finish up and I want you to start doing your background. Let's go. I know you're doing a great job. Now, it is time to clean your brush. So you've got all that paint in your brush. I want you to stick it down to your water and dab it down. And then I want you to wipe it really good. Now, you don't have to do this if you're doing the same back, the table, your background, the same color as your table. But if you're gonna move to another color, you wanna clean your brush just like that. You don't have to clean it perfectly, but then make sure you get all that water out. Cause if you don't, it's just gonna make your paint runny and it'll, Make sure you dry it really good, just like that. Now, what I have found easier, if you're especially at the table and trying to paint, leaning over to do your background might get paint on you. So what you can do is turn your picture around and put the, uh, the top at the bottom, just like this. And you're, all you're gonna be doing is outlining and painting so it won't be any different. Just turn it upside down, and it just makes it easier so you get paint. You don't have to, it just makes it easier so you don't get paint on your clothes. Now, my background is gonna be purple. So I'm gonna, I've got my purple here, and what I'm gonna do, I want you to watch what I do, and then I want you to do it too, okay? I'll do a little bit, then I'll let you finish up. So I'm gonna start with outlining, and this time when I do my background, I'm going to go up and down, up and down to look more like a wall, okay? So I'm going to take this and I'm going to outline my flowers. And see how I'm going up and down with it on the side? Up and down. But go ahead and trace your flowers and your leaves and then we'll get back. I'll see you in just a few minutes when you get through, okay? And if you actually accidentally get your paint on your flower or your leaves, that's okay because you're gonna cover it over with the next color of paint. So don't worry about it. Okay, now it's time to paint our vase and our flowers and our leaves. I want to start and paint my vase first. So think about a color that you're going to paint your vase. I'm going to paint my vase this, uh, this red hot orange, okay? So what you're going to do, take your, oh you, look, I'm sorry. You're going to take your flat brush, you're going to wash it out and put it away because you don't need that flat brush anymore. 
You're now gonna get your round, your big fat round brush to paint the, the base and the flowers, okay? So here we go. Put it in here. And I am gonna come here and I'm just gonna outline around the flower. I'm gonna bring it back down. As much at the edge as I can. Just like that. Come around. And while you're making your base, if you decide that you want to add more colors to your base or make it stripe it or a checkerboard or polka dotted, you can do that too. Just pick the different colors that you want to use. It does not matter. I'm going to go down here. Outline this. Y'all start. And I'm going to finish up my base while y'all work on yours, okay? I can't wait to see what it's going to look like. Now it's time for our flowers. And this is the, the most fun for me. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a bunch of different ways to do my flowers, but <clears throat> I wanna show you a little idea I have. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start with this one first, and I'm gonna dab some paint right here in the middle of this flower right here. You know, you can do whatever you like. And then I'm gonna go to the next lightest color, which is orange or tangerine color. I'm gonna dip my brush down in there just a little bit. And I'm just gonna go, I'm gonna go around. And I don't necessarily have to follow that line. Like that. Then I'm gonna go to, I'm gonna go to the next color I like, and it's gonna be this red, it's a brighter red. And I'm not even cleaning my brush. I'm just dipping it down in there because I like the way the colors, look at the colors mingling in the color. Because a lot of times the flowers will do that. They just kind of blend together. And I like the way that looks. Just like that. And I'm not taking my time. I'm just wiggle. I'm just blah, 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 Just like that. Just as quick as I can. And then for my last leaf, I want it kind of dark. So I'm going to take my same brush with the paint in it. Dip it down. This is kind of a dark maroon color. And I'll dip it in and I'm going to go. Just going to go here. And then, you know what? I'm just going to kind of do my own thing around this one. Even though I made a red line, I changed my mind. And I'm going to do my wiggle lines like this. I'm going to go up in that leaf. I'm just going to do some wiggles. Just like that. 
Just because you made a line of uh, your flower a certain way, you can always change it. I'm going to get through with that. I don't want to use my next flower in this orangey color, so I'm going to clean my brush. And I think I'm going to do the, um, the mint. I'm going to do this one next. Pink, a light pink, and then I might do. I might go. I'm gonna clean my brush because I don't want my pink and my yellow to come through. So I'm gonna clean my brush, and I'm just gonna wipe it clean, dip it in a little water, and I'm thinking I'm gonna. Oh, you know, I'm gonna do purple. I'm put some purple, and I'm gonna just. And I'm gonna go like a backward C, a front C, and down the middle, right through that. Or pink a little bit, uh, backward C, a frontward C, and down, a backward C, a frontward C, and down, a backward C, just like that. Got some of that pink in it, but it looks kind of pretty with that pink in it, doesn't it? Like that. Just like that. Now, let me see what you can do. I can't wait to see your flowers. So let's get busy. Y'all have done a great job on your flowers. Now it's time to do our leaves. And what I suggest when you do your leaves, you can use a green if you want to add yellow to it to give it some dimension and extra color, you can. So watch what I do when I do my leaves. I'm gonna use the green, and I'm gonna do this leaf right up here, the top one, and I'm gonna go and go down. And then I'm gonna go over here back and see, I'm gonna go down the middle. Right to the edge of the flower, just like that. And I'm going to add a little yellow, and this is going to brighten up your leaf and just add a little yellow to it to give it more color, extra color. I'm going to go back down to my other, to my next leaf. You see, it's got still got a little bit yellow in it. I'm go down, just like that. And then I'm going to take my yellow, and I'm just going to do a little. Little skinny, you can roll, you can take your brush and just roll it and get a real fine point like that. And I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna go down like that. And the way you shape your leaf kind of gets it, makes it look like it's going over, coming up and back down. It all depends on where you put that yellow or going up and flip it back up. So I'm gonna do that. And I'll go ahead and put on the brush. You can't see, but when we do the outline, you'll be able to see it. Right like to the edge of the flower. Down here, and because that's under that flower right there, I'm gonna just add a little yellow down here at the bottom, just like that. 
green light here. See how fast we're doing? We're going as fast as we can. We don't want to be, sit there and just be perfect. We just want to get, get this right in here. I'm going to make that, you said one leaf. I'm going to make it two leaves. Put the yellow right here. Over here. And if you have the painted as your background yellow, I mean, if you painted your background green, what you can do is add a little bit more yellow to your green so your leaves will pop out, okay? And then when we do our outline, that will help too. But here's a leaf over here. I got too much yellow that time, didn't I? That's okay. I like that. Look how light that came out. And then I'll What's inside here? I'm just going to do some green like this. i got a stem in there, but I'm going to kind of cover it up. And I'm just going to put like little leaves all in here, just like that. Now let me see what you can do. I can't wait to see your leaves and your flower. Okay, now the next best thing is to finish up our painting is going to do the outline. All you need is your round brush, your, ten, your small round brush that we have, your outline brush, and black paint. Now, before we, if you haven't done it already, make sure you wash your really good your other brushes. So all you need right now on your table is maybe your uh, paper towel and your black paint. Now, when you're using your black paint to do outline, you can make it as, can you see me turning? Let me see. You can, I'm gonna do it on my hand. Watch this. See how I make it a, make it this? To make it a very small point. That will help you when you're painting, okay? Yeah, it can get, if you want it to go flat, you can do that, but you wanna be able to do it that way too, to make a little thin line like that sometimes. Now, when we do our outline, I want you to be frivolous with it. I want you just to do airy and fun and not get serious and do a dark, deep outline. Now watch what I do, okay? So you'll understand. And you can all, this makes it fun so you can do something different with your flower if you want to. So I'm gonna dip it in my paint and I'm gonna start with this flower and take it. That's it. That's See how that does that? I'm going to do a little bit more because that kind of got into the... And if you feel like you need to let your paint, your, um, your picture dry first, that will be okay too. And here I'm just going to go here and I'm just going to, just like that. See, I'm just barely outlining it. Go up here. Just kind of touching it, just like that. And then on this one, what I'm, on this top one, I might go up here and do this. See, I'm changing the whole look of this flower right now by the way I'm doing my outline. And I'm not taking my time, I'm just, just going through it just like that. See how easy that is? So let me see what you, I'm gonna, let me show you how I'm going to do my, um, I'll let you see how I'm going to do my pot too. I'm going to take my pot, and outline the inside, outline the outside. And I'm not going to go right there, I'm going to go right here. And go down. Go down. down. Just like that. Now up here, I'm going to do a leaf. And watch how I do the leaf. Now watch this. I'll watch, watch real close. I'm going to do this line like that. See how I did that? And I'm going to come back and do some little stuff. Little things. Just like that. Some little stripes. Come here, do the same thing. See how it just drags? That's beautiful when it does it like that. Yeah. Okay, let me see you do your leaves and your flowers. I can't wait to see what you've done.
we finish our painting. Y'all have done such a great job. I am so proud of you. Now, the most important thing that you need to do, I feel like after you finish your painting, is to put your initials or your name, year or date, whatever you would like. So I'm gonna do that right now. I'm just gonna put B-E-T, because that's Belinda Ellen Thompson. So I'm just gonna do B-E-T, 2020, just like that. And you know why I do it? Why you should do it too? Years later, when you become famous artist, they're gonna look back and try to find all your artwork, and they won't. Do, you'll be able to identify this year by your name being on there. So I want you to make sure you initial your work. Always initial your paintwork. Okay? I'll see you next time. Can't wait. Love you. Bye.